So I have been waiting to do a new floss tube video until it was the perfect time. I wanted sunshine, quiet, and a good hair day. We got two out of three, let's just roll with it. Hi Floss Tubes, Beth, Rock and Raven, long time no see. How the heck have y'all been? Uh, it has really been forever since I've done a video. I don't even know the last date I did one. I think I did a couple after I came back from my uh, Germany and Iceland trip last summer. And since then I've been kind of AWOL. Uh, I do have good reasons. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened since the fall. Uh, I got a new job. Uh, moved, went through the holidays, went to England, uh, got another job because I didn't like the, the job I had gotten uh, last September, and uh, now I'm uh, finally, it is February, I think today's the February the 26th, it's Sunday, and uh, I wasn't kidding in my little intro piece about wanting to have the right time to do a floss tube video. I have been waiting for a good day. Uh, it, it, today is nice and, and pretty and sunny outside. I will show you my new backyard view. It looks a little bit like my old backyard view. I'll just turn the camera around slowly as not to give anybody whiplash. Uh, so yeah, we have a really nice backyard now. Unlike the old place which looks straight out onto a hill and we had no usable area. Uh, here we have uh, Quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, relatively flat space and grass, and then the trees all around. And uh, a lot of what you see beyond the trees is actually part of our property too. So uh, we're really happy. We live about five miles from the old place. Uh, so uh, those of you who are big fans of the wooded views, uh, I can still provide those for you a little bit. Uh, so I wasn't going to talk a really super long time. It's just going to be a catch-up video. Um, I, I didn't plan to go into any great detail about the non-stitching stuff because uh, frankly it's we all go through it and uh, we're okay. I mean, the, you know, changing jobs is never fun, uh, especially when you do it twice in the space of about four months. But uh, I'm at a place that I really like now. I've worked there before, uh, so I know what I was getting myself into. And it is a place that wants to nurture me for the long term. So uh, I'm hoping I can have a, a stable career there and maybe even this will be the place I can work until I retire. Uh, th that's certainly a possibility. So I, I had to take a pay cut to get this job, but it was worth it for that long term potential. Uh, in this area of Northern Virginia where I live. By the way, if you're new to my floss tube videos, hi, welcome. Uh, I've picked up a few new subscribers since the last videos and I'm so appreciative. I think I'm almost at 500 and I might have to do a giveaway of some kind to celebrate. But uh, yeah, if you don't know me, uh, again, I'm Beth. I live in Northern Virginia. I have been a subcontractor at several companies uh, in the past seven years since I moved here from North Carolina with my husband and our two kitties. Um, and so yeah, this is to me really worth it to get a, a job at a place that um, where people have been for a long time. There's people I work with who've been there for 20, 25 years. And in DC that is really in, really in, like an ice age. <laughs> it's a long flipping time. So enough about that. Let's go on to some of the things that I have finished. Uh, some of my um, there, I don't have any FFOs, uh, but I do have a few finished objects. And I think some of these I probably showed in the last video, but it's been so long. And again, if people are new and I haven't had a chance to look at my old videos, then uh, I'll just go through my little rolled up stash here of, of what I've got finished. So uh, the first thing I have is a chart that I got off of Etsy. It's a, this beautiful peacock feather. And I had originally done this with the recipient in mind and then kind of changed my mind about giving it to the person uh, just because, I don't know, it, it just didn't... Great people, but I, I don't know that they would have really been into. That's the only reason I actually have so many um, 
pieces here that are ready to be framed, but I haven't gotten them framed. Normally when I finish something, I get it framed immediately because I have a recipient in mind. I'm usually doing it to uh, by a certain, you know, have, having it done by a certain date. So, you know, someone's birthday or anniversary, whatever. Um, so this was kind of going to be more of a just cause gift and, and then I changed my mind. But uh, it actually, the chart didn't have beads, uh, but I added, uh, added some beads around the um, edge of the feather. So uh, nothing fancy. But I, I just thought it was, thought it was kind of pretty that way. So uh, that's whip number one, peacock feather. Uh, whip number whip. I'm calling whips. They're not whips. They're done. This is why we're so, this is why I'm doing the dang video. I'm celebrating. Yeah, that finishes. All right, finish number two. This is a real victory. I know it's basic. It's simple. Um, this is a, a vintage uh, chart that I got uh, on a trip to the Outer Banks sometime in the 1990s. It was probably a year after I started stitching. And so it's simple, it's basic. It's the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse in Outer Banks of North Carolina. And um, yeah, it, it's funny because when this was charted, the, the lighthouse, well, it kind of, it was right by the ocean. And since then they've moved it, they've relocated it uh, some distance inland to keep it safe from the waves. So now it really does sit on a whole bunch of grass. Uh, it's never had rocks around it. Those were just thrown in for artistic effect. Um, but yeah, that's an old chart, uh, Cape Hatteras light. And again, I have no clue what I'm going to do with that. Um, if anyone lives in the Outer Banks, have a beach house, I'll give it to you if you let me come and stay for a night or two. Deal? No? Eh. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, Tidal River. It is not completely finished. I still have back stitching to do, but all the crosses the cross stitches are done. Let me hold that up so you can see it better. Uh, I'm really happy about this. I actually managed, speaking of the Outer Banks, we went uh, on our family trip last September and I brought this with me, the project with me, and somehow ended up leaving, I guess I left the whole chart behind because ever since then I've never been able to find it. So I emailed the designer, Donna Bayless, and asked her, and she's, this is By the Bay Needle Art, Tidal River number one. Um, and I asked Donna, I said, look, this is going to sound crazy, but all I need is just the last little bottom portion of the chart, like page four, just that last little section. It's a long shot. I wasn't even expecting her to answer me. Well, she got back with me right away, and this was over Christmas time, and she actually sent me that, the, the piece of the chart that I needed to finish. So big shout out to Donna Bayless, By the Bay Needle Art. Uh, she really saved my bacon because otherwise I was going to have to buy a whole new, entire new chart to do literally this section, uh, this little section, I'm trying to hold this up, right in here. You know, and I, I just did not feel like spending $12, sorry. But, but um, Donna is on Etsy. She's got a lot of, uh, her charts are in uh, a lot of uh, needlework stores, so look for her. Um, I promised her I'd give her a big shout out in my next Floss 2 video, and there it is. So yay Donna, you, you really did. She really came through. Um, I love it when designers do that. and they're, uh, I think most designers are really communicative with, with their um, customers, but um, Donna really went above and beyond, and I appreciate it. Um, so let's see, uh, another finish I have that I know I didn't show in the last one because uh, I only just finished it uh, last month uh, is the, I ended up converting, this is from the Five Seasons Quilts book and these are the winter quilts and there are originally five quilts in here but I decided to um, only do three because I, I wasn't crazy about the design of, of a couple of the quilts. They, they just, I don't know more my thing. But I thought these three were really pretty. So I ended up uh, just kind of fixing the bottom, the, the, the snow, uh, to make it all fit together because I kind of smushed these three in together. So uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, five season quilts. Uh, winter is finally done. Also no recipient in mind for this one. So 
Uh, I'm going to flip and clue what I'm going to do with this stuff. Uh, I just, I just keep on stitching. I'll figure it out, you know. Uh, I think this is actually normal for a lot of people that they, they just do something. They, they find designs they think are pretty and they stitch them and maybe you have someone in mind. Maybe you keep it for yourself, whatever. Uh, I think these finishes I have shown previously that I'll just show them again very quickly. Um, so I've got, oh man, and this is awful. I always get Country Cottage and Little House mixed up. Um, but this is the, I think this is actually Little House Needleworks. They've got the, the uh, Christmas series and this is the only chart I've gotten in the whole Christmas series, the train station, because trains, hey, I love trains. So, uh, yep, I've done that one. Um, and then the, uh, I believe this is also Little House, uh, the little snowy cabin uh, with the bird button, which I, I just loved. And this was a really, a really quick stitch. Uh, sometimes we need those. And then um, Country Cottage Needleworks, the September cottage. And uh, this does have a recipient in mind. Uh, I've actually decided I've got some friends in Pennsylvania and they have three daughters and they were all born in different months. So uh, I'm going to do the uh, July and November charts for them as well and give those to them for their birthdays this year. So there you go, all is not lost. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I've got one, well, I always have five billion whips, but I'll show you the one big one that I'm doing. Uh, and at the same time, uh, if anyone's curious whether I'm still doing stand-up stitching, yes. Uh, uh, same setup in the new house that I had in the old one. So this is my um, artisan floor stand. And yeah, my stitching area is a little bit cluttered right now because, hey, whips. Uh, but right now I am doing Twin Mermaids and, by uh, um, Mirabilia. Golly. Now, come on. If you have a brain fart with Mirabilia, you're, you're, mm, that's a senior moment I'm practicing for, I guess. Uh, and this is on the scroll chart, so I, I'm, I'm not going to scroll frame, rather, so I'm not going to take this off and show you, but this is as far I've done everything except the beading. Uh, some of the specialty fibers I've, I've done, uh, but none of the beading. And of course, the uh, um, I am doing the water lilies as I go along and still really enjoying stitching with those. Although I, I do the DMC first and then I come in and do the water lilies after that because sometimes if I do the uh, silk thread first and then the DMC, I get little ends of the silk thread that pulled up through uh, from the DMC. It has a really bad tendency to do that. Uh, and I don't know if anyone else has encountered that, but uh, it certainly is a pain in the arse for me. So um, I try to do the silk thread after the DMC. And other than that, I really don't have anything else to show. Any of the other whips that I have are kind of not out and um, really just barely started. So I'm going to... Just leave it at that and sit back down and wrap this up. So yeah, I'll, uh, I will keep doing more videos. Today was a good day to do it because my husband is down in Richmond and he's making noise somewhere else for a change. Normally when he's home, it's not, it's the TV or it's his podcast or it's music. And, uh, I feel like a real jerk telling him, shh, be quiet for my little hobby. So. I, I just you know, wait till for a time when he's gone. And with the new job that I have, uh, I have every other Friday off, but no more work from home. So uh, the timing has to be uh, you know, more right with it. But now that it's getting later, uh, the, the sun's going down later, I have more time in the afternoons. So uh, I should be able to do more videos on a regular basis. And so next time I'll show you some of my whips and some of the stuff that I have on deck. Uh, and in the meantime, y'all keep stitching, and it's great to see you back again. I'm starting to watch some floss tube videos again. I haven't even been watching floss tube. Again, no offense. Uh, don't mean to you know, 
I, I, I certainly care about everybody. I, I you know, found some wonderful people on Floss Tube. I've been to a few of the meetups uh, with Miss Oso oh Crafty. Um, the, she, we have monthly get-togethers at the library in Fairfax in Virginia. And if anyone is in the general area and wants to come, you're always welcome. The next one will be on March the 12th, uh, probably sometime in the afternoon. Keep an eye out on places on, online like Stitch Mania and Ms. Oso Crafty's uh, floss tube. She does regular updates, so um, anyway, hi <laughs> if you're watching. And um, everyone else that I have met at the meetups, I uh, hope to see you guys out there too. And other than that, I really don't have a lot to say. It's going to be kind of short and sweet. So uh, it's really great to be back and I will do more updates. And in the meantime, yep, stay stitchy. Bye.